Florida Medical Watch, a potential interaction between the COVID vaccine and cosmetic fillers. And medical reporter Dina Baer has more on the concern. The COVID vaccine, like other vaccinations, boosts the body's immune system, in this case to fight SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. But an immune system on high alert also recognizes and tries to fight other foreign substances in the body, including cosmetic facial fillers. Overjoyed to get the vaccine she believes will protect her from what has proven to be a deadly disease, Shana Margolis happily surrendered her arm for her first and second doses of the COVID-19 shot. I had mild arm soreness for about a day and a half after both doses of the vaccine, which resolved within a day and a half. But by day two after dose two, Shana couldn't believe her eyes. I started getting swelling under my left eye and it was dark, almost looked like I had been bruised or punched in the face. By Sunday morning, both eyes were swollen. And did see that there had been a couple case reports of patients who had had filler who had under eye swelling during some of the COVID-19 clinical trials. So Shana called her dermatologist, Dr. Amy Brodsky, who had given her fillers two and a half years ago. It's used to give patients volume in their face and it actually, if done correctly, is a beautiful thing and patients love it. But Dr. Brodsky has a warning to fill her patients yes. now. Be aware of a possible reaction after the COVID-19 vaccine. What we've seen though over the past, I would say three or four weeks, is that patients who have had the COVID vaccine um, can go on to have inflammation um, around the fillers. The reaction can also occur when people get the virus itself. As the body wages a viral immune response, it also comes face to face with the foreign fillers. A filler in and of itself is considered a foreign body. And anytime somebody has something that is a foreign body in their system, and then we introduce this spike protein or the protein from the uh, COVID-19 vaccine, the body recognizes it as something foreign and walls it off. And this delayed re immune reaction presents itself as inflammation, swelling, redness um, in areas where patients have had previous fillers. The reaction does not appear to be life threatening and is most often associated with fillers containing hyaluronic acid. So the treatment for vaccine reactions includes dissolving the filler. What we can manage hyaluronic acid with is something called hyaluronidase, which in fact dissolves the hyaluronic acid. We can also use antihistamines and low or high dose steroids. The steroids tamp down the body's immune response, but that means the COVID immunity may be reduced as well. It's a concern for patients like Shana, a physical medicine and rehabilitation physician who's on the front lines in the pandemic. She needs COVID-19 protection for herself and her patients. I was so thankful and grateful to get vaccinated as part of group 1A, so I definitely wanna make sure that the vaccine is efficacious for me. So I do plan on getting antibiotics testing. So as the immune response in her face calms down after taking steroids, antibody testing will reveal whether her COVID immunity remains. And once she's certain, Shana says she's not worried about future fillers. If my bags get too bad again from not sleeping enough and working too hard, I would definitely consider getting fillers again. Dr. Brodsky is working with physicians around the world to document and treat these cases she says are rare. Doctors are considering ACE inhibitors to possibly prevent the reaction. Back to you. There is five.